So we told you rain is falling all over Southwest Florida and you can see from Wink Doppler 3X we are covered in rain today looking at Fowler Street, which is known to flood during heavy storms and roads. Just one concern people have when the heavy rain comes down. Of course, a year has passed since Ian, but ever since then, anytime drops come down, some people in Southwest Florida get concerned as to what may happen. Now, Wink News anchor Taylor Wirtz joins us live on Fowler and Taylor. Can we handle all of this rain? Yeah, Russ, so actually we just got to MLK from Fowler. Now we're heading towards Ortiz right now. I'll show you what the roads are looking at. Today's rain has been steady, but not heavy. So you can see on the road, it's slick and there are puddles, but luckily no flooding, just a few water trails behind some vehicles if they go too fast. And people who live and work here, they hope it stays this way. Rain is inconvenient for everyone, but people in some areas of Fort Myers like those near Fowler Street say they dread it more than most. And it gets pretty flooded pretty fast. So I mean, 10, 15 minutes maybe of hard rain. By the time you know it, it's flooded. Like you can barely even drive through the roads. Like it's ridiculous, man. Kishore Kanamori manages a liquor store. He says Fowler has spared him, but his drive home to Port Charlotte is interrupted regularly when it rains, especially as he nears First Street and the Edison Bridge. That place is always a lot of water when it rains. One time, you know, I was scared the water is going to come inside the car. He says on many rainy days, he has to take a longer route home to avoid having to turn around and avoid flooding like this. I don't even take a chance. It is raining too much. The stretch of 41 between downtown and the Edison Mall has also seen its share of flooding and construction like this makes things a little more hairy for drivers. Regardless of where the trouble spots are, people we spoke with today say they hope those in charge will make the necessary improvements. They should do something about it. Just get us some drains or something and we'll be all good. And here's a view from the back of the live drive right now, looking out at MLK. Now, I did reach out to Lee County, FDOT, and a few others. The county got back to me and said that the Lee County Department of Transportation, Lee County Natural Resources, and others, they do work year-round to maintain these storm drains, ditches, and canals. And because they've experienced a below-average rainfall during the typically rainy season, they believe that there is capacity for rain now, and it is beneficial heading into the dry season. So hopefully this is just going to make our plants grow and not cause any flooding. We haven't seen any yet, but I'll let, we know, let you know if we do. In Fort Myers, Taylor Wirtz, Wink News.